check this out, guys. Ultimate off-grid power. Let me show you what's in the box. Shelby! Shelves! Show me! What? Come help me out. Look what we got. What is this? P5000. What's that? <laughs> Take it out and put it on the ground. It's like ice. Yeah, it's here. heavy. It's heavy. Don't drop it. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Ooh. That was a big boy. 5,100 watts of backup power. All right, guys, check this thing out. So if you are looking for mobile backup power, this this could be your ticket. This product right now is not even available to you guys uh, right now. And I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can check it out. But right now, the only thing available to you is a giveaway of this product on their website. As of right now, you can only pre-order it. But let's take a second to take a look at what this thing is, what it does. I'm not completely familiar with what this thing uh, can do in its entirety, but I do know from uh, reading the advertisements that this, this battery bank, this big dude right here, will actually power your house with all of its appliances for hours if you ever have a uh, power outage in your home. So these dudes always come charged. We're just gonna turn it on and see what it's doing. Boom, gotta hold it. Okay, so right now, I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't see it. I'll just tell you what's on here. So right here, you've got a little LCD screen and it is showing that the battery is only 20% charged right now but it's showing that it has 99 hours worth of capacity left. So 27%, 99 hours. Now, of course, as you start plugging stuff into the battery, that starts to diminish, but it's really cool that it tells you uh, how many hours you'll be able to run with all the appliances that you're running. Now, in most cases of a power outage, you know, people might want to run their TV, uh, maybe a heater. If you needed to do some laundry, this guy will do it. And one of the cool things about it is it is mobile. So we've got wheels right here. It's actually got this. It's got this handle on the side right here. So you can actually run it like a piece of luggage, which is nice to have that leverage because this unit is like at least a hundred pounds. It's pretty heavy. Now, based off of what this thing can do versus its competition. This is the lightest unit for what it can do on the market. And it is one of the fastest recharging units of all of the batteries that I have. I have multiple batteries that we've showed you guys on the channel and some of the batteries take hours to recharge. This thing fully recharges in 1.8 hours. That is extremely quick for the amount of outage that you get from this thing. So this is one heck of a unit guys like i said again if you're in if you're interested in it i will put a link in the description below we can go and check it out now you can have in an off-grid setup you can have everything that you want to be able to run whatever it is you want you just have to pay for the system a lot of people like to try and recreate on grid amenities while living off the grid which requires a lot of power which is big system, lots of solar panels, uh, and all of the hardware to boot. Now, if you're not interested in having that kind of a system, you can invest in a system like this, which is going to run all of that stuff. You just have to charge this once in a while, which means turning on a generator, which in most cases, anyone who runs solar has a generator backup for their solar system in the winter time. So you have your solar system, you have your battery system, you still need that generator to get that power when there's no sun out in the winter time. So let's just check this thing out really quick. So uh, you've got these sections here that you can see. This is your DC power. You got the little cigarette lighter. I don't even know what that dude is. I don't know what that plugs into. 
these are probably going to be some uh some power in most of the time these little power ins allow you to run a uh, solar power bank or a solar panel bank off of them so if you want to just pull it out on the deck put up the solar panel you're able to charge the thing um, over here you've got all of your little usb outlets now this is one of the biggest reasons we use these battery banks is to recharge phone cameras uh lights things of that nature but you have all of these different usb ports uh, as well as the different phone the different phone ports as well now coming over here guys this is where your big power is coming out of up to four 20 amp max on each one of these dudes 20 amp max on each one guys this thing is literally powering a house there's your 220 hookup most of these power banks don't even have that because they are not capable of running such large equipment um there you go this one will just check out right up here on top guys <clears throat> there's your charging cords that one's going to be for uh solar a solar connection hookup there's the extension of it so these dudes are pretty common in solar hookup um different attachments i've got for different battery banks have those as well and then you can hook it right into this dude if need be and then again to be able to plug you directly into a wall and uh and then replug and recharge this thing so if you have this thing stored right you have it plugged into your wall you charge it up you tuck it away power outage happens you bring it back out and then you run it and you're able to run for hours now these things generally store really well for a really long time so there's generally not an issue with just charging them up storing them away and then you know checking on them every once in a while and honestly probably like once a year to make sure that they're not draining at all but these things on a smaller scale are designed for going into vehicles to be backup power, to be a, an emergency jump, um, or to just be a, an outdoor enthusiast tool, whether you're using it for inflating tubes or lighting underneath the hood because you have to jump in there and look really quick, or you have to get under the vehicle. There's generally some lights on, on the smaller versions, not this product. Let's just read through the instructions really quick and see if we can't find any type of cool information that you guys might want to know life cycle okay so a lot of these batteries no matter what these battery banks have a life cycle to them they have a they have an expiration date basically you can only charge them up so many times before like any other battery they just lose their life now a lot of these are uh, a lot of these are like 500 charges 300 charges 600 charges this one right here is greater than 3,500 charges. 3,500 recharges on a battery bank this big. You'll never do it. You'll never do it. So it looks like there's going to be tons of idiot lights on this thing. So just like in your vehicle, guys, whenever you, uh, whenever you run something to the max because you didn't maintain it, there's going to be a light that pops up in here somewhere up on this screen. And it's going to tell you what is wrong. It shows uh 22 different lights on this thing so there's 22 different pieces of information that are going to be uh, letting you know what's going on whether you are looks like hooked up to solar uh too low overload that's awesome so if you're pushing this thing to the max it's going to let you know hey uh, you're doing too much unplug something okay this is cool for all of you electric car type people this thing will actually charge your electric car. Uh, it's not included in here, so you'd have to buy it separately, but it will, in fact, uh, charge your electric car. That is pretty cool if you're into that type of thing. I'm more of a diesel truck kind of a guy, but hey, to each their own. Do not store in negative, less than negative 10 degrees for a long time. So you can store it in extremely cold weather. So if this was a backup battery bank for you guys and you left it stuffed in your cabin somewhere, uh, unless it got down to negative 10 for long periods of time, you're gonna be good to go. Lots, lots of cool stuff inside uh, this battery bank. This thing is a monster, guys. 
If it seems like I'm a little bit excited about it, it's because we have used a ton of these battery banks. I have used no less than half a dozen of these things of just different brands that I have been sent to test out. This thing is a monster. Let me spin it around real quick and I'll show you guys each side. On this side here, you've got the, the different attachments to be able to, uh, like, I sh like I was telling you guys, plug it into your car, plug it into the wall to recharge it, as well as what looks like to be a uh, overload protection. So you basically have a, a, a GFI. So if you blow it, you just come back over here and reset the thing. Looks like it also has a feature for quick charging and slow charging. And then here looks like a couple of fans. That's probably because uh, the heat from the inside to be able to distribute it. All of these battery banks come with uh, with fans. And as you use them when they produce heat, they'll just automatically turn on and, and disperse that heat from inside the unit. Nothing special on the back, guys. Just uh, some stuff, words and things. And then a couple of fans on this side as well. And like I was telling you guys, this little dude pops out opens up just like that and then this thing runs just like a piece of luggage you get leverage on it be able to move it like i was telling you it's heavy on its own at least 100 pounds um, but any person could move it with that this is a cool unit guys uh, i would not take this thing with me on a camping trip i would not necessarily load this thing up into the back of the van and take it with me unless you're a van lifer or unless you live on the road something like that but this is not the unit i would take to the beach i absolutely would put this unit inside the cabin absolutely put it inside the house and use it as a backup emergency power whenever there is a power outage or living off the grid implement this into my system to be able to recharge and use all of our electrical needs guys that is it for me thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you got something out of this product if you guys are interested in a product like this i will leave a link in the description below for my personal link code please use it it helps to support the channel if you guys are looking for something a little bit smaller i have multiple videos uh, on multiple products like these go ahead and hit me up in the comments and i can steer you towards another product Thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you on the next one.